from averaging 50,000 daily players four months ago to barely being able to crack past 100. This is the downfall of what was the most prominent Bleach game on Roblox, Type Soul. <laughs> What started as a closed community game was released to the public on July 1st, 2023. The game pulled massive attention within the couple weeks that followed and before you knew it, the biggest Bleach game on Roblox was Type Soul. On top of daily updates, YouTubers with big followings were constantly making content and streaming them playing Type Soul. This led to the game maintaining an active player count of 50,000 throughout the week. While Type Soul was in its prime, there was a trend that quickly arose. To roll an ability, it costs 800 robux and the chances to obtain a legendary ability or weapon was 1% so the trend was simple i spent 10,000 robux on type soul and this is what i got it was a harmless little trend or so we thought it wasn't until this trend was in full swing that players started to notice something was off why is it easier to get a legendary weapon than it is to get a legendary ability? Unfortunately, Type Soul did have SOME moderators and spec users who abused their advantages over public players. This led to a toxic divide within the community and at the front of it all was a YouTuber named Dizzle who got banned 6 times because of moderators abusing their powers. It's only been a month after release and things already aren't looking good. Soon enough, the lead scripter and head developer of Type Soul named Siren, was removed from the team for some pretty bad things like forcing the other developers working on the game to meet his demand, otherwise Siren would leak the game. As if that wasn't bad enough, Siren was also involved in keylogging people and some other off-platform scams. After being removed from the team, Siren retaliated and leaked Typesoul. Now, remember when I mentioned how players were suspicious of how easy it was to get a legendary weapon compared to a legendary ability? With Type Soul now leaked, everyone saw the chances. 1% for a legendary ability, and 10% for a legendary weapon. This was a dirty mind trick used to make players think that the next spin could be a legendary ability considering how easy it is to get a legendary weapon, which would cause the player to buy more spins like a gambler. In light of this scandal, an apology was sent out to the community along with some changes. They immediately fixed the chances and made them all 3% to roll legendaries and have the price of an ability reroll as compensation. Also remember how earlier I mentioned that some moderators abused their power? Only 3 days later, another apology was sent out. They tried to make things right, but in the end it was too late. Since then, Type Soul started getting fewer content updates, and the only updates it received were to balance the unbalanced. At the time of making this video, the only scripter working on Type Soul has left the server, so I guess it's safe to say that Type Soul has now joined Blotch and Soul Wars in the afterlife. <laughs>